everyone. If you're new here, I'm Katie, and welcome back to Katie Faith Journaling. So today we are going to be having fun in our Bibles. I'm going to be using some few different things today. You don't have to use the same products as I do. This just helps give you some ideas and fun tips to use in your Bible. So I will be using Distress Ink today, one of my favorite things to use in my Bible, as well as some fun washi tape. And I'll also be using some, a new stamp set, which I haven't used yet. It's got some really pretty leaves and stuff in there, or um, or it's called plants. So I got this on Etsy. I'm also going to use this for a book journal that I'm making next year, but for now, I'm going to be using it for my Bible. Okay, so I'll be using that. I'll be using some ink from Colorbox. It's my go-to ink for Bible journaling because it's it's water-based. It's not um, it's not like permanent ink, so it won't bleed. It, it it'll have a hard time bleeding through your Bible. Okay, so and then also I'll be using some distress ink or distress markers because they're in pretty fall colors, perfect for this time of year. So before we get started, let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing us all together today. I pray that you will help us to grow in your word, Lord, and guide us in our journaling, Lord. I pray that you will just bless each and every one of us today, Lord, and that we will um, grow in our relationship with you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the first thing I am going to do in here is I'm going to add my distress ink. And I'm thinking I'm going to be doing some, like fall colors. So let's use some orange, some green, and some of the red color. So I think those are going to be the colors. So I'm using crushed olive, ripe persimmon, and fired brick. Those are the colors I will be using today. And if you want to, you can put a piece of paper underneath. I'm not too worried about that. Actually, you know what? I think I will grab a piece of paper. All right, I have my paper underneath here now. And the verse we are gonna be journaling today is Psalm 40, verse one and two. And it says, I waited patiently for the Lord and he turned to me and heard my cry for help. He brought me up from a desolate pit out of the muddy clay and set my feet on a rock, making my steps secure. So that's what we're gonna be journaling today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my Distress Ink in. It's really easy to use Distress Ink. You basically just do circular motions. You start from the edge of your paper and work your way inward. Because otherwise you'll get like those little circle rings from your pad. And I still, I'm still learning about Distress Ink, but I am trying. <laughs> So we have our distress, distress ink down now. And I want to go ahead and add a couple of really cute stamps to our project. And actually, you know what? I'm going to write down our verse first because I don't know if my hand is going to get in the way. No, it shouldn't. Okay. I'm just making sure where my placement of the stamp would be, and I think we're good. Because sometimes the stamp will smear unless you let it dry. So I just wanted to make sure it would be okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this big, tall, leafy tree thing here. I'm really excited to test these out because they are new stamps. I'm really excited to use them. They are very sticky, so that's good. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's hard just to get it off here. There we go. 
And you make sure you're careful with your stamps to make sure they don't um, make sure they don't rip. Okay, so I have my stamp on here, and I think I'm only going to be using the leaves. There's like a little stem right here, but I'm not going to use that part. I just want the leaves. So, um, I'm thinking possibly we'll go ahead and do the black outline, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and ink my stamp up. And I think the black will be nice. That way we can color it in with some browns and orange and stuff. Get some pretty fall colors. Alright, so I got my ink stamped. And I'm going to put one up here. I'll do the one up top here first. But I'm going to go ahead and stamp this down. Put right there. I want to cover up the words. And I'm going to press down and lift up. And then I'm going to put one on the opposite corner as well. I'm going to re-ink this. There we go. Make sure I try to get all of the corners. And with clear stamps, using just um, soap and water, you can clean your stamps really easily and quickly. I'm actually going to put the paper underneath just in case over here. I did okay in the other corner, but I just want to make sure. And then I'm going to put this one over here. And press down on all of your corners of your stamp. That way you get a fairly nice, clean, a nice, clean stamp there. All right. So now that that is done, I'm going to close up my ink. That way it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to use these to color in our stamps. Now, I'm actually going to wait for these. I want to let this dry a little bit because these are a marker. So I want to make sure that my stamps have dried enough to color them. So I'm going to use my brush pen from Micron. Uh, I, I use this one. I do like the other one better so far, the, um, the Tombow brush pens, but I'm learning to use this one. So I wanted to use something different. Let's see. I think I'm going to put the first verse. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he, and he turned to me and heard my cry for help. For that to dry I actually decided I think I want to add the color into this side as well so I'm going to go ahead and do that too let me go ahead and grab my distress ink but I think I think it does need something in the corner over there so I'm going to use my paper and I'm going to go ahead and use my distress ink to color in that corner as well I think 
it is it looks nice the way it is i think it turned out really cute and you can use this side for like prayer or note taking and i did notice that the markers did bleed through a little bit you really can't tell um but we can do another journaling on the other page to get rid of that shadowing so i think it turned out really really cute so if you do use um the distress markers i would recommend um, using some gesso on your page before you go ahead and do that. But I think it turned out really cute. Also, handy tip, gesso does dry out markers um, faster than just using it on paper. So handy tip for you all to know. And, but yeah, I think it turned out cute. And it looks very, very fall looking. And it was a lot of fun to do this with you all. So I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day and a blessed week. And I will see you all in the next video.